Working as a 3D artist is a dream for many, but it is not always sunshine and rainbows, because some of the tasks we as 3D artists have to deal with are very tedious, like UV unwrapping. It's the biggest piece of dog shit. A task that at least you don't like. And for the case of Blender in particular, I think it wouldn't be an understatement to say that working with its UV unwrapping system is like watching paint dry. But the good news is, in the last few years, we are seeing a few tools that help us solve this problem. Among them is Zen UV, UV Toolkit, and UV Squares. But the one we're gonna focus on today is called UV Pack Master. So why this tool in particular, what made it stand out, and what is the story behind becoming a tool that is changing the workflow of thousands of Blender artists? Here is the deal. UV Pack Master is more than just one add-on. Rather, it is a series of progressively released and continuously evolved add-ons, all in one place. Think of it like the successive releases of PlayStation consoles in a sense. And the most recent one is the third coming of the tool, which is called UV Pack Master 3. But how good is it? From what I can see, UV Pack Master 3 stands as one of the most efficient UV packing tools in the field today, with a lot of impressive characteristics under its belt. But the one that makes me raise an eyebrow the most is how it makes it possible to perform the UV packing on either the CPU alone or by adding all of the available GPUs of your system, which significantly outperforms a lot of other packers in the market to reduce the time needed to perform even the most advanced packing scenarios in just seconds. On top of this, there is still a mountain of impressive features to discover because it is a complete UV solution that covers every single aspect of this task. For example, it can automatically orient the UV islands according to their orientation in a 3D space or perform what is called a heuristic search, which is a method of the add-on to find the best possible packing solution in a second, literally. There is also an automatic scale adjustment, in addition to control over the priority of some islands and loads of other features around UDIMS, which is a standard solution in computer graphics to distribute UV islands across several textures. And with this add-on, we can, for example, pack all the UDIM groups with a single click and full control over the packing orders, texel density, and choosing the UV boxes for each group. And believe me, we are just scratching the surface because it has a lot of things to talk about. But the question now is, how did this add-on get so good and how did it start to begin with? Behind the journey of this add-on is a man called Lucas Chis, a software developer from Poland. In an interview he kindly gave to Inspiration Touch, Lucas shared with us the fascinating story of how UV Pack Master came to be, which all started at the end of his school days, as he graduated with a computer science degree and a focus on software development in C++. After exploring the workspace with some companies as a programmer, he started to feel like something was lacking because he started to get this feeling and desire of wanting to express himself artistically, instead of dealing only with the technical world of programming. And that's how he ended up discovering the world of 3D graphics. So as a total amateur in the field, he figured out that the logical and easiest choice for him was creating 3D art with Blender. There was a plot twist in the story, which can be seen as both fortunate and unfortunate. Let me explain. So after jumping into 3D art with Blender, and even though it was a lot of fun, it turned out that he wasn't talented in art as he was in coding, at least according to his own words. So what was the solution then? Well, he decided to go back to focus on software development, but with a catch this time. Since he gained a good knowledge of 3D graphics concepts and Blender itself, this was a crucial factor that together with his coding skills helped him give add-on development a shot, which resulted in the creation of UV Pack Master. Just like how he said, thanks to my attempt to become a 3D artist, I acquired a good knowledge of Blender, including a knowledge of its weak points. It was in the time of Blender 2.7 when UV Packing was such a weak point of Blender. There was no decent solution for UV Packing at all. 
the Blender Bitlink Packer was based on a bounding box packing, which couldn't provide decent UV space coverage in most scenarios. Also, there was no third party add on that would perform UV packing with good performance. So, the logic behind UV Pack Master was really simple to provide the first decent and robust UV packing solution for Blender users. I recently wanted to up my product animation game. You know, those crispy modern product animations that you can see everywhere nowadays. And this class by Derek Elliott was an awesome resource to learn from. I feel like I understand the basics, but what Derek offers in this class is a workflow on how to combine all the knowledge into one awesome looping animation. By the way, if you are interested in learning more about animation, Skillshare is the place for you. Skillshare is the largest learning community on the web, with thousands of classes led by industry professionals in film, illustration, design, freelance, productivity, and more. And what I like more about Skillshare is their recent Learning Paths edition, where you not only can pick a class, but also a learning path with multiple courses handpicked and curated specifically to help you achieve your goals. So if you want, for example, to master modeling and animation in Blender, this learning path is a perfect pick for you. You will go through all the major milestones by learning modeling, sculpting, lighting and materials in addition to animation. So, the first 1000 people to click the link in the description will get a one month free Skillshare premium membership, which will allow you to access the entire library of learning paths and in addition to all their classes. Skillshare has been a big supporter of the channel for a long time. So please help support the channel and pick a new skill by clicking the link in the description. The developer embarked on this journey in 2018 as a part-time project in his free time after work, often into the late night hours. And despite being a relatively simple tool at the very beginning, the positive perception by the community motivated him to work even harder. As he said, it is an effort that required a lot of energy and work, but I wouldn't describe it as a rough experience. In fact, it gave me a lot of fun. First of all, it was very interesting for me from a technical point of view. Also, I know it is a tool that is useful for others. As far as I am concerned, there can be no better motivation for hard work. In today's Blender community, UV Pack Master has become one of the most beloved add-ons with a long-lasting legacy that it will leave behind, a vision that the developer has already dreamed of from the beginning, but it certainly wasn't expected for it to become this big. But this is probably because Blender 2.8 was around the corner when this add-on was released, and this is the main reason why the developer thinks this add-on became this big. The Blender 2.8 release changed a lot in the industry, as it made Blender a more popular software among professionals who started shifting their focus from software such as Max and Maya going to Blender, because it was getting better and those artists needed something equivalent or better than what they used in Max, Cinema 4D, or Maya. So, thanks to the support of the UV Pack Master users, it allowed the developer to work full time on his add on and change his life for the better, which he is very thankful for. So, if you guys want to use this great add on and support the developer to work on it even better and make Blender as a software even greater, you can check out the links in the description down below. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.